welcome back to American Truck Simulator. I know it's been a while since we've been in here. I had uh, issues with my sim panel and uh, I don't know, installed drivers and stuff. So it seems to be functioning well now. up there I almost uh here. Oklahoma's coming next week. I figured we'd have a tune-up before we get into uh, messing around with that. We will be doing basically a truck sim week next week. So GTA 4 might be on the back burner for this DLC. of this panel here we don't need it it over there. Yeah, I'm going to really screw it up on this one. I think we need to restart this. Now where is it? On to the right. So we should probably go to the right here. I'm very rusty. So rusty, in fact, that I can't even back up the dang trailer. Yes, we got to go the other way. This is what happens when you don't play ATS for, like, almost a month. We used to do videos every week. And we had to cheat a little bit. The more I get back into this, I'll get better at it again. I just can't take break like this for that long. It's, it's not good. No, we're not even we're not even locking it in right. There we go. I think this is better. All right. 
right, so we've attached the trailer. At least I think we have. Let's get going. Thank God this is a short run because it's freaking hot in here. Like, always. Take the hazards off because we're actually going to be going left here. to pull that trailer out without hitting anything, which is very surprising. We're going to go with an automatic next time, not the paddle shifter. It's really annoying to be having to deal with this part of it too. It's slowing my concentration down like you wouldn't believe. But at least we got the steering sorted. It's not turning hard anymore. But when I got the steering fixed, then my sim panel wasn't working. So this is why there's such a long gap between one video and another. I wanted to make sure everything was sorted before I got back in here and did more videos. And since they announced that uh, Oklahoma would be released August 2nd, I said, well, this I got I to gotta step it up and get at least one video done before we jump in and go kamikaze with the, um, Oklahoma. much better off to get myself a dang shifter and just do the gears myself but I mean, this is set up for uh, shifting and everything but I don't have a the shifter Let's put it down a gear so we can get geared up enough so we can shift up higher here Sorted. I should have never done this thing. All right, 
once we back in here, we will have it fixed. All right, we got it sorted, I think. Yeah, because we were just going way too slow. It was going to take us forever to get there. So anyway, it seems to be fixed. Okay, we're going straight. Good. We fueled up too, so we're, we're good on that. Let's do the dr overhead drone thing. I forgot to do that last time. We're making the left up there. Hope we gave that Mac enough room. I think he's all set. Yeah, it's so much better driving like this. I really can't deal with the paddles doing what they were doing. It was just getting on my nerves. It's a fun way if you're driving in a in a in a car, you know, in a fast car or what have you. But in a truck like this, that's geared differently. I just give it a real automatic and just let it go. Yeah, we're all over the dang place. Yeah, this trip is not that long. It's maybe 170 miles. So it's, you know, reasonably, a reasonable amount of time for a video. We're not going to go overboard. But I do know one thing. As much as I love summer, I'm kind of getting over the, uh, the heat. Still rocking the Mac. I almost forgot we were in the, the Mac. It just shows how long ago it was since uh, we acquired this truck. Actually, it wasn't that long ago, episode wise, but we. Uh, it's just a long break in between episodes. But I'm sure Oklahoma DLC will have some sort of a contest along with it, deliveries and such, and we will participate in that uh, and have all associated videos uploaded, of course, showing you the progress.
started out in Amarillo. I believe we're ending up in New Mexico. I think that's where we're going to be. But I have a feeling when we uh, do the next video, the next video is definitely going to be the upgrade. And uh, we will start in Texas and end up in uh, Oklahoma. Not nice that we're cruising. I don't have to worry about paddle shifting. I don't have to worry about any of that bull crap. That's why the beginning of the video was kind of like, really? He's only going 15 miles an hour? Because I made the huge mistake of thinking it was going to be a good idea. To use paddle shifters. I I have in the past. It was kind of a hybrid system, but uh, I just make it simple. I think you can uh, write on red in most states, but I'm not sure about Texas or New Mexico or whoever. So we're going to be on the side of caution. Sand. Okay, elevated soil from Amarillo. Oh no, we're not going into Mexico. This is Odessa, Odessa, Texas. Hmm. We're staying within Texas, which is great because we would have fast traveled back to Texas anyway, just so we could start from there to. Uh, go to Oklahoma. are roads we have not been on yet, which is good, I guess. It means we're exploring more of the map. But I'm real happy to be back in the game. I've been wanting to get back in this game for quite some time. I'm enjoying my playthrough of Grand Theft Auto 4, but at the end of the day, I, I really wanted to get in and do some American Truck Sim. So at least we were able to do that today. And next week when that DLC uh, downloads and, uh, you know, we purchase that, download it. Because you can see Oklahoma, you can see it on the map, but it won't act, activate till, uh, till uh, Tuesday. Well, I got to pay for it and then it'll activate. <laughs> I don't remember. I think they're like 13 bucks or something like that for the DLC, something like that. It's more than worth it, in my opinion, because... 
I do a lot of content on this on this particular game, and in my opinion, it's the best trucking sim game there is. I don't care about the other ones. Uh, Euro Truck's right up there, but I don't care for Euro. Uh, I don't care to. I did that for a while. I think we got about 60 episodes, something like that, of that. But I didn't know the rules over there, and I was constantly screwing up, and I just said, you know what, I know the rules in America, let's just stick with what we know. At least, you know, we'll be the better for it. And I think I put better content out with this than I did with that other game, because that other game I was mispronounced, probably butchering all the names, and, you know, if you drive into England, you got to drive on the left side, it's like... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I I don't have to drive weird things, and, and I don't like the designs of the trucks over there. I understand the cab overs is pretty much all they have over there because of the size of the roads. But son of a gun, we almost rear-ended somebody. Brakes work on this son of a gun. That friggin' woke me right up. Not that I was sleeping or anything, but. think we got to be pretty close to uh, the end of the road on this one. Go straight. Then keep right. All righty. Keep right. Then turn right. Yeah, we've got 24 miles remaining, and we're going to be making a right on this uh, this road here. I would cut through the gas station, but it's kind of against the law. And also, with this big truck, it'd be a bear of a time trying to cut through there. going to get in the right lane. It's mostly customary to be in the right lane uh, until we figure out otherwise that that's where we'll stay. Once again, these are all roads we have not been on yet. We are traveling along for the first time. telling us to get over to the left lane here, so that's what we're going to do. I knew the map GPS would fix us if we screwed up, and I think we're turning into where that truck is. Keep left. So this is probably where they're going to want this soil. car back there slowed down because we got two trailers were pulling so <laughs> yeah I like the two uh, hood mirrors I put on I think they're almost essential on a truck like this it makes it so you don't really have to, uh, Get ready to turn right. make a big deal about uh, looking all the way to the right or the left you know especially in a rig this size. Turn right. Yeah, they want it 
to the right here. I think. Right on time. I don't see where. guys want it. Oh, okay. Simple enough. complete. We went 232 miles. Now we've done 138 of these World of Trucks. Now a lot of those were ones that uh, were of the variety of doing, well, I don't know what you would call it, but uh, uh, con you know these contests they've got. So we'll probably be adding to that total. We'll probably top 150 by the end of the next week <laughs> or something of that nature. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little episode here. Um, if you did, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You know, all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.